No shadow you won't light up, mountain you won't climb up, coming after me. No wall you won't kick down, lie you won't tear down, coming after me. Oh, the overwhelming, never-ending, reckless love of God. Oh, it chases me down right till I'm found, leave the 99. I didn't earn it, I don't deserve it, still you gave yourself away. Oh, the overwhelming, never-ending, reckless love of God. That song... If you know the words, you can go on YouTube. You have Tasha, I love Tasha version. Um, but uh, that song has uh, really spoke to me on my journey. There are so many songs that minister to me. That's actually helped me grow on this journey. So, and that is one of them. You know, no shadow you won't light up. No mountain you won't climb up coming after me. He leaves the 99 and come after me, after Suzette. And I just want to, you know, appreciate that love, the love of God. Um, and as I talk about the love of God, I, I was wondering what to bring tonight, you know, talking to the Lord about it. And um, relationship relationship has been an issue for me since I'm on this journey and even before I came on this journey I've, I've had issues with relationship I'm no relationship expert or anything um, so I it also rest upon me to go back to 2015 April 15 2015 and um, I came home and was checking for April 15, 2020. I was also talking to God about a relationship because early up in the year, I'd met somebody, you know, and I was bringing him before the Lord. Whenever I meet anybody, I bring them, bring him before the Lord, like really, and, you know, ask him about it and why am I allowed this person in my life and, you know, me and him have that relationship. He's my everything and I talk to him. This journey is about me. It is my story, my testimony from where God is bringing me from to where he's taking me. And I'm just sharing that. I found this journal. This journal is one of my first official journal. My sister gave this journal to me in 2014. Um, I was writing everywhere. I showed you the book um, the other day and I wrote, I wrote everywhere, you know. Once the thoughts are there, I just write them down. So this book, um, so I was looking in it to see if I see anything for April 15, 2015. There was nothing really journal, um, but I found something that I wrote. And uh, you know what is the ta is the name of this thing that I wrote? I don't know what it is, if it's a poem or what. It's my journey. And this was written July 24, 2014. When it comes to choosing men, I believe it's something I'm not good at. So last year, about early August, a man approached me and made me an offer. All I could do is cry. As I, my love ball, as I listened, he said he knew me before I was knitted in my mother's womb. He told me he has been caring for me since the day I was born and will take care of me until I am old and gray. Wow, what a man. I was still crying. I listened some more. I was overwhelmed and he knew I was. He said, listen, don't worry about the things of this world. He said, you don't know this, but I chose you. I called you by name. 
you are mine. When you pass through deep waters, I will be with you. I will be with you when you pass through fire. You will not be burned. The art trials that comes at you will not hurt you. You will not be disgraced again. He said, I will protect you. Not a single ear on your head will be touched. I will give up a nation just to save your life, Suzette. Just because you are precious to me and because I love you. I have already laid down my life for you. Give me the chance to prove my love to you as he continued. Before I go any further, as I said, I it was rest upon me to talk about relationship. Tell me now, isn't God amazing? What is the best relationship to have? No, most with him. And how, how he led me to this. He led me to this. To do this. To talk about this. A relationship. Alright, listen. I alone am the Lord. The only one who can save you. I am God and always will be. No one can change what I do or say. I asked him, what do I need to do? He said to me in the most comforting tone, all I need is your heart. I have to just surrender and cry some more. I couldn't turn down that offer. I have never met a man like him before. I have no regrets giving him my heart. And can I tell you, um, it is what seven years after today, I have no regrets giving my life to the Lord, giving Him my heart, giving Him my everything, Him being my everything, Him being my words can't even express or even explain. But uh, he is my all in all, you know, and uh, I just want to, to thank him for saving me that day when he did and being the best man in my life. Like literally, he has been the best man in my life. And uh, as we journey, you will understand why I said that Jesus is the best man in my life. Thank you for coming on this journey with me you never know what you will get you know so thank you allow jesus to be in a relationship with you